Abortion is the topic of discussion today at the state capitol. Oklahoma has some of the strictest anti-abortion laws in the country, but a bill being heard by a committee wants to add some exceptions. News 9's Capitol reporter Haley Wager with the latest. That'll be the order. Multiple abortion laws in the state up to this point. Senator Daniels working to clear everything up. We go all the way from a 1910 criminal statute to several bills that we passed in 2022. Senate Bill 834 would allow abortions if necessary to save the life of the mother or in cases of rape or incest of a minor, but only in cases that have been reported to police. The frustrating part for me still resides in the fact that uh, we are requiring individuals, victims of rape and incest to report to law enforcement before they can access medical treatment. Senator Kerry Hicks says despite Oklahoma already ranking ninth in the nation for sexual assault. Only 20% of cases are actually reported. Do you feel that victimizing individuals a second time in order to report to the police will be a positive outcome for our state? It's my hope that if a woman did go and report to law enforcement, that in between that time and the time at which she might seek an abortion, she would have a change of heart and go ahead and have the child. But we've provided the exception. Senator Hicks was one of only two no votes in the committee. Nine eyes, two nays. Another abortion-related measure up for consideration this session. Senate Bill 931, which gives more opportunities for licensed pharmacists to treat patients. Easier access to screenings and preventative medication for birth control. The bill allows those pharmacists to perform certain surgeries, but clarified. This does not give anyone the right to perform an abortion. These were just some of at least a dozen bills dealing with abortion that will be heard in the coming weeks. At the Capitol for Oklahoma Zone, I'm Haley Wager.